Giants fans turn all the way up during and after New York's comeback dub over the Cardinals yesterday with Joe license plate guy Ruback was out in Arizona and he's on now to talk about this historic win. Joe, I like a lot of Giants fans. I don't know how a lot of people are at work functioning right now. You, of course, because you had to fly all the way back across the United States. But uh, I salute you for uh, for what you do, my man. Thanks for hopping on. It's it's I, I appreciate that, but it's very easy when there's a victory attached to it. Victory I, I Mondays. Break that. I could break night and a Monday with a victory, you know, <laughs> when it's, when you're down, you know, when you're down, you know, two quarters, you know, make it six quarters at 60 to nothing on the season, you know, you're questioning why the heck did I take this yeah, trip? Yeah. But after the game, you know, you don't question that at all. Not at all, man. No, no days like victory Mondays. And I was going to ask you about that because from the st fan standpoint, what was the vibes like, the energy like in the building from the second half compared to the first? And, my man, you've been a Giants fan forever. Where does this game rank in your top Giants games? Yeah, that's – I mean, what a great question. But to be honest with you, you let it off by saying this historic win. And to be honest with you, it is historic. No matter what anybody says, I mean, Daniel Jones put up numbers never seen before mm -hmm. in the second half for a quarterback. So it is historic. It ranks up there very high. I don't want to hear any crap that it was the Cardinals. That means makes no no sense to me. It's another NFL team, and I think the Giants pulled out an unbelievable victory. The vibe in the stadium, I felt like I was at MetLife. It was literally a home game, to be honest with you. It was like, it was like going to a Florida game. We're going to see it again when we're in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, you know, New York South, but this was out West. Uh, you know, it was a, a sea of blue. I think when the schedule came out in the beginning, I think uh, Arizona, which of course, due to the Super Bowl, is uh, giant fans, you know, one of their loves. So uh, everybody went out there, and I'm telling you, behind the Giants bench was ridiculous. Well, I was going to ask you about that. But, you know, from the fan standpoint, I know you guys turned it up, especially during that comeback. But what was the energy like on the sideline with the players? Like, who were some of the guys that are, like, high energy or who were, or, 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 like, really vocal during this historic comeback? So it's funny, you, you know, you, you, you look at the sideline, especially after, like, a score or a big play or – or at least going up and down the side. And believe it or not, you got guys like Saquon's a big guy, a big up and down the sideline guy. Jahai Ward is a big up, up and down sideline guy. Daniel Jones gets the team up. Uh, you know, Xavier gets the team up. So there are a lot of guys, especially with the C's, that do their job. Now, look, there are guys with that have C's that will stay on the side, you know, and just get their group ready to rock and roll or get everybody up when it's third down, like get the punt team ready or whatever it is. So you do have several guys going up and down. The mood completely changed, obviously, in the second half from a player standpoint, a fan standpoint, a coach's standpoint, everything standpoint. Yeah, I would love to be on the sideline and see Daniel Jones fired up. Like, I would love to be – if you see a guy who is doesn't have that big personality that's kind of super reserved, but you see videos of him after the touchdown getting fired up, as a player, man, that would definitely uh, get you going. And uh, you were there. You, again, you were there on the sideline. That's where you sit. All, all the games, you saw a lot of the things that were going on. Uh, you got a viral video that you tweeted out. Kayvon was sitting there at the end of the bench after Saquon's touchdown. The Post picked it up. The Post used the video. They're talking about it now. Uh, you took the video, man. What, what did you make of it all? So, look, I, obviously when someone takes a video, especially at a game, they don't expect it to go viral like I did. And probably – I don't know, 50% for the wrong reasons, to be honest with you. I don't like when a player is not celebrating with his team. That's just me. Is that what gets Kayvon going to, to sit there alone and get ready for when the defensive team goes out there? Maybe it is. You know, I don't, I don't live inside his head. I don't know what goes on. I don't know what's allowed by the team and what's not allowed by the team. But I will tell you that, you know, the last person I see – saw do something like this was the other KT. So maybe it's just fresh in my mind that I see someone walk away from where you should be celebrating, in my opinion. Don't forget, that's the key here. It's, it's, it's my opinion. I don't work for the team. You know, all of it that I put out there is for my own benefit and whoever follows. But uh, I felt like, you know, everybody was there high five and that was right after the extra point. Here's the key. And a lot of people are like, oh, you're putting it out of context. Uh, maybe he was uh, looking at his tablet. 
Maybe he was looking at the next plays, the, some sheets going on. No, nothing. I watched that throughout the game. So, again, I'm not going to sit here and kill one of my favorite players, you know, had on his jersey the other day. So I'm not going to sit here and kill him. I just don't like what I saw. So a lot of players get up, you know, uh, uh, positivity or not in their own way. You know, sue yourself. You, you get what you get out of the video. So if someone was to say to you, oh, you're trying to push out some sort of KT narrative, what would you say to that person? No, not someone to say. They are saying. And I'm <laughs> telling you that I have no narrative either way. Um, what would I say if it was standing in front of me? Like, you're asking me right now my narrative for KT? Yeah, hey, KT, I don't want to see you get in a different view of the fan base that you don't want to put out there. I posted 50 videos of Kayvon celebrating with his team, 50 videos of going up and down. But I have seen him sit in silence. And again, going back to that, is that something that gets him going? Okay, maybe it is. Maybe he should say that. Uh, but on the other hand, I'd much rather him be with everybody else, especially after a score, especially after the Giants' huge comeback and be super excited. Yeah, and I didn't want to end on this. I just wanted to give you a chance to kind of clarify and, and kind of give context to the people out there. It's Victory Monday, people. Everybody just woo and chill. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, you're talking about uh, uh, a social media that wants to stir up something or get negative after a win, and I'm sorry, I'm just never going to understand that. No, good vibes only around here. All right, Joe, appreciate good you hopping on, my man. No doubt.